Corton. What is it, Sam? Corton, check out my new haunting horn. Is that spinning? Yeah. And making bubbles? Yeah. And playing my mother's old phone ringtone? Yeah. Hello there, all of you hammer bros. Yeah! Hello there, all five hunting horn users. Yeah! We have some sweet, delicious information for you. And, well, some armor, yes, please. So, first and foremost, hammers, what are you getting? Absolutely nothing! Yeah, what, what, what? I, well, I mean, you're getting the clutch claw and the slinger while your weapon drawn, but no new moves for you. And honestly, I'm okay with that because the hammer, you know, you, as hammer users, you're very simple. <laughs> okay, look, I'm joking, but yeah, you know, this is what happens when you choose to use worse blunt greatsword. Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? Either way, right, the hammer is looking very, very tasty. You can now charge your hammer as you do, and while charging, fire off your big burst slinger, which will let you do crazy things like knock down the crystals while maintaining your charge to go into the slap, or indeed power shotting all of your ammo while charging to flinch the monster and then go in with your big hit. So, honestly, very similar to what the great swords are getting. The big, heavier, slower, more simple weapons do seem to be retaining that, just gaining the slinger and the clutch claw little extra bits of juice. And the clutch claw, indeed, you can attach mid-combo with the hammer, spin onto the monster's face, and tenderize that sucker real good with one hell of a slap. It's simple, it's effective, it's direct, and it is doing ridiculous amounts of blunt damage. Hammer's gonna be KOing left, right, and center, and it is suitably brutal and, well, for want of a better word, impactful. <laughs> impactful! <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I just it's it's impactful. Okay, all right. Look forward to it. Hunting on users, all five of you. All right, you're gonna be having a good time. They just keep making this weapon better and better and better because no one fucking uses the thing, and it, it's it's sad. All right, they're like unicorns in the wild. Hell, even in the video itself, there's some dude charging in because he's finally found a hunting horn user. Guys, guys over here! I found one. I you guys have got some good stuff going on. Now, obviously, you've got the slinger while your weapon is drawn, which lets you do some fun shenanigans as with all the other weapons. You've got your clutch claw attaching to the monster, and the hunting horn one is a fucking jump up in the air, come back down, and kick it. You just kick the monster. You tenderize it by kicking it, making that weak spot weaker, or a non-weak spot now a weak spot. But the point is... The weapon is just there as a hook. The actual attack is just the hunting on user using the swinging momentum to boot the monster in the face. Yeah, all right, I'll take that. That is absolutely fantastic. Then the main shenanigans that we have going on here is your new attack. You have your echo waves and you can chain them with any of your other attacks and it adds a special note to your note string. And this is very, very interesting because on top of a plethora of new offensive effects with your echo waves billowing out, you have one of the most interesting new defensive abilities going, or at least buffing abilities as the hunting horn should, and that's the echo wave bubbles. So you give your lovely little baton of best friend making a twirl, and you can summon bubbles. I'm calling my lawyer. And these bubbles are delicious, though I wouldn't recommend eating them, but you can stand in them, you and your allies that you have so graciously given this gift to, you gracious god of buffing these peasants that you've allowed to walk with you on this hunt, knowing full well you could solo the monster in your sleep. 
So if you're hunting hot news, it stands in it, the one example song that we have, you give yourself movement up fast. If allies stand in it, they get evade up because obviously, you know, they need the extra help not to die. And, you know, you're there for them as the hunting horn. By your good graces and mercy, the rest of us do live. So you can encore it to make the bubble even bubblier. And I don't know how long it lasts for. I imagine a little while. But the point is you can create little fancy glowy bubble buff zones that people can go and use. And that is really bloody quite good. So yeah, hunting horn users, you're gonna really be able to more buff the hell out of everything. Really force your allies to be as strong as they can be, even if you have to go plant the bubbles on their bloody face. And I think this is gonna reward a lot more attacking play from the hunting horn, because you don't want to be that hunting horn user in the corner of the room making a bubble that no one's gonna go to, because you have to walk for five miles to get there and back to the monster. So you're really gonna want to be actually hitting things, and I like that they're encouraging that. So so, all in all, yeah, Hammer just gets more smashy, nothing fancy, and Hunting Horn keeps getting ridiculously buffed because, again, no one seems to want to play the thing. And we have, of course, little glimpses of the armor. Now, we knew about this one. It's probably the Banbaro armor. It's uh, very Viking-y and, and furry, and it just looks so warm and badass at the same time. And, oh, I can't wait. I absolutely can't wait. I hope we have some sort of transmog system. I really do. There already looks like there's so many armor sets that might just go to waste, and I, I just, I don't want it. And then the other one looks like the Master Egg version of uh, the uh, bone set. And the thing is, the horn that they're using is amazing. It's just this fucking gnarly skull, and it has... I, I kind of want to say it's the G rank slash master rank form of your basic bone horn, which would imply that they get, well, actually awesome looking in master rank. We don't have to worry about weapon designs, but I could be mistaken and it could be the final form of an actual monster, and that will explain why it does look awesome. But at the very least, things be looking awesome. Even the hammer looks very good. But yeah, there you go, guys. Lots of good stuff to look forward to, and I'll see you soon. Like, if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. A good boy.